Okay, hi. This is Jeff Castor, State Transportation Landscape Architect, and we're going to present the updates to the Florida Design Manual, Chapter 228, Landscape Design. Landscape as used by the department is defined in FDM 228. For the most part, it's what anyone would think, the trees, palms, and other plants that make up the landscape. Like most places, Department landscape projects may also include hardscape, such as street furniture, specialty paving, tree grates, walls, planters, fountains, fences, and landscape lighting. Hardscape-only projects are not landscape projects. Landscape may be a standalone project or a component of a roadway project. Plants included in a landscape project are expected to grow in value for many years after final acceptance, and designers are expected to coordinate the landscape plan with other component plans. Soil enhancement is new to the FDM. There's also a new specification. Combined is a new solution to help designers and contractors be more successful. Success means trees that grow in value for decades after final acceptance. At many median and roadside locations, in existing soils are not suitable for trees to grow in value. Often the soil is nothing more than old road base or rubble, compacted, rocky, and infertile, inhibiting root growth, reducing water infiltra infiltration, and increasing runoff. Design intent cannot be achieved. The designer is responsible for, for providing documentation to the project manager or district landscape architect justifying the need for any soil enhancement. And you can see in this photo uh, a median that's recently been constructed on old roadbed and here we are trying to install a expensive tree into uh, soil that just there's just no hope that that tree could survive very long. Like pavement depends on support from below, trees also need a good base. During the analysis phase, designers must document the condition of existing soil. Advanced soil analysis may be performed at the department's discretion. Soil enhancements are usually limited to areas proposed as planting beds or individual tree or palm planting pits. Enhancements come in three flavors, soil scarification, soil amendments, and full soil replacement with landscape soil. Soil scarification, for, some, uh, for the same reasons that farmers plow fields, soil scarification is in some medians and roadsides is necessary. Often roadside soils are unnaturally compacted, leaving too few voids for satisfactory amounts of air and water to penetrate and for macro and microorganisms to survive. Improved soil structure allows air and water to move freely through the soil. Soil amendments. Desired properties of soil for road building are very different from the agronomic properties for growing trees. Soil next to roads can be lifeless, the texture too fine or too coarse to sustain life. Amending the soil with appropriate sized soil particles and organic matter can jumpstart or resuscitate the soil. Full soil replacement with landscape soil is only warranted when other soil enhancement measures will not work and only when the affected trees or palms are included in the same project. Landscape soil material requirements are included in standard specification 987-2.4. Required information for soil enhancements on landscape plan sheets is included in FDM 329.6.1. FDM 228 is expanded to provide more explicit instructions about placement of trees near outdoor advertising signs. 
designers need to use the department's outdoor advertising database to verify the permit status of all permitted outdoor advertising signs located within 1,000 feet of the project limits. For erected outdoor advertising signs with a permit status of expired or canceled or revoked, contact the state outdoor advertising administrator to determine if there is a view zone. And lastly, my contact information, uh, I'm easy to reach by email or by phone if you have any questions. Thank you.